chose to study abroad, I studied abroad three times, but my main program was my academic year in Darmstadt, Germany. Um, so I did a full year exchange um, at the Hochschule Darmstadt and took classes over there for 11 months and came back. And then I did um, two summer courses and I did my first one in summer of 2018, I went to Holland for the uh, visual language design um, program with uh, Robert Frere and Dean Gerfman. And then I did in 2019, right after I graduated, I did a summer program in Mexico in Oaxaca with uh, Kevin. And yeah, I chose to do my um, first study abroad experience um, because I had always wanted to study abroad. I kind of knew from the get-go that I wanted to study abroad. Um, and so I was always looking into programs, trying to see what would work best. Um, exchange program kind of uh, financially was the best option for me. And then um, the academic year kind of came about because I wanted, I wanted to go in the fall of my junior year and I didn't uh, want to skip any semesters or do anything. I felt uh, spring was too late and um, spring of my sophomore year was maybe too early and I had a job. I couldn't go then um, and then it just kind of worked out that uh, <laughs> the uh, academic year in Germany starts in October and um, ends in like end of June July so like um, I was gonna miss like the whole spring semester if I had only done once like just the fall semester in Germany so I chose to do a full year instead and still earn some credits and try to stay on track for my degree. best part was the uh, unexpected opportunities that I got to have. Um, it was definitely uh, my Darmstadt one just because of um, I ended up getting to um, help design a logo for a European astronaut or a German astronaut uh, Alexander Gerst um, through one of my classes and it was just kind of like very coincidence that I ended up even getting into that class in the first place and then working on that project um, and sticking out the project as some of my classmates didn't even stick it out um, and so oh, this is my cat <laughs> sorry um, so the, the unexpected opportunities were really um, were just amazing and um, that was probably one of my favorite like experiences um, for, for just all of my study abroad programs and um, I don't know, even my, um, you know, my Mexico trip and my um, Holland one was, they, each one of them had their own learning opportunities that I really didn't expect. Um, and the connections that I made and the friends that I made in all of those trips are, um, you know, super important. Some of my friends that I made in Germany are, you know, key people I still have in my life every single day. I talk to them all the time. We work on projects together. We do all these fun things. Um, so yeah, it just was a really great opportunity. You just have to be open to learning the language and you have to use it when it makes you uncomfortable. I think that's my biggest weakness when it comes to language learning is just um, struggling to use it when I'm uncomfortable. And so because I panic and I want to do it right, but I can't. Um, but that's, you know, the best way to learn a language is just push through it, make mistakes, and uh, just kind of keep going and keep learning. I felt I could understand about 80 to 90 percent of conversations by the time I left. Um, however, my participation in those conversations was minimal um, as my speaking skills were significantly lower, and I think that's just where my you know, intermediate skill kind of came in. Um, I took classes the entire time I was there. But again, Germany um, is a very modern country. Everybody speaks English. Um, and so you can really get by not knowing any German whatsoever. I mean, I know many people who just, you know, didn't even go to German class or uh, they couldn't put it in their schedule. So they just didn't, and they only spoke English and they got by just fine. Um, so it's just a matter of putting yourself in uncomfortable situations and um, understanding the country that you're in. Because in Mexico, that, that doesn't help you at all that <laughs> you speak English. In, in, uh, in Germany, if you speak English, you're probably fine. Um, in Mexico, if you speak English, good luck because you should speak Spanish. Uh, and so in Mexico, you just you have to speak Spanish and there's kind of no getting around it, um, which was good in terms of my language learning skills, like 
opportunity, but it was stressful because of always having to speak another language um, can just be stressful sometimes. Uh, so it really depends on where you're going and, and like what your experience level is. Because I went into Germany with no language learning or no German experience whatsoever. Um, I went into Mexico with you know two years of Spanish minor under my belt plus you know four years of high school Spanish so and you know a year of German so and I was still struggling so it just really like depends on where you go and, and what you're comfortable with. that you think that you can afford but also compare it to what it is that you are paying at Stout um, because realistically if you are paying to go to Stout you can but possibly you know afford to go on an exchange program just because you are paying Stout tuition um, and plus you know whatever some of the additional expenses are um, but depending on where you go you can really like you know make the most of it and um, save some money or even that like it doesn't cost that much extra to do additional traveling and other things like that. I know I saved the majority of my money, you know, for a couple, you know, uh, leading up to my trip. Um, all of that money, you know, went to mostly just the traveling and, um, you know, doing fun things in, in Germany. Um, but I also did, uh, you know, I got a couple of scholarships, you know, I did the work to get, I don't know, it was just a couple thousand dollars of scholarships, but it's helpful. Like those couple thousand dollars goes a long way towards paying your tuition or just in general putting more money back in your pocket for traveling and, and so on. So I think it, it, de you ha it depends on what you want to do. It's investment in yourself and investment in your experiences. It's going to cost money, uh, but you can make it like affordable and you can make it work, especially if you get, you know, some scholarships because people don't take as much advantage of those as they should. Um, and you make it clear to the financial aid office and study abroad office study abroad office that you need some help, they're going to help you. Um, so you just you have to do the work. You kinda have to, you know, go out of your comfort zone. I mean if you're already thinking about studying abroad, you're already in the right place to just, you know, go ahead and do it. You now you just have to make the plans and do the thing. So you just really, you really have to just do it and be uncomfortable. It's going to be uncomfortable at times. It's not an easy thing to do. You're doing it for yourself. You're doing it for personal growth. You're really, I mean, I, Yes, you're doing it because it sounds fun, but you're also, I mean, there's there's more to it than just that. It's for like personal, professional growth. It's for um, so many other things and you get so much more out of it than um, what you do. It's an investment in yourself. So um, the, you just, if you're already thinking about it, you just have to just do it. And if you are not thinking about it, maybe start thinking about it and Think about all the benefits. There's so many more benefits than there are negatives. If you are, you know, if it comes to a couple thousand dollars more student loans, I take that any day over my every single experience that I had uh, in, in Germany, it, it, Germany alone. And not to mention like my other courses, like every one of my experiences is so much worth, so worth the investment in, in every single life. And then uh, the biggest benefit that I definitely got out of it was the, I guess just, you know, personal growth and connections that I made. I mean, uh, some of my you know, best friends went on that program. Um, and so, and, you know, some of my friends, you know, I, I started a podcast recently with one of my friends who went to Dark Chat with me and he also went to Stout. Um, and so it's been really great networking with him while he's in Norway still and, um, and you know, doing a lot of work with that. But we talk about our experience all the time and, uh, you know, even in my current role, it, like uh, uh, my company, my study abroad experience kind of comes up a lot um, it, because I work with French people. And so it's just really like, is the, I don't know, there's just so much you can get out of it. And I, I can't even, you know, uh, put <laughs> words into how much I got out of it because there's just so much.